Tonight, the nation still mourns those we lost in a deadly mass shooting over the weekend. 31 people died after two mass shootings in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio. Now, people are lighting candles for the victims as America looks for a light to guide them towards change. Not far across the state line from El Paso is Las Cruces. You're taking a live look at a vigil being held in honor of the shooting victims. In El Paso, a ceremony held at Horizon High School to honor Javier Amir Rodriguez. He was just 15 years old when he was shot and killed. And in Dayton, the community came together to talk about their loved ones and the ones they lost, but said they will not be forgotten and their deaths will not be in vain. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Part of President Trump's five point plan to stop mass shootings in America calls for federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies to monitor social media to help identify people who might become threats. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live in Huntsville. He found out how achievable this is for law enforcement to actually crack down on posts that promote violence and hate. Cody. Yeah, Dan and Naja, the Huntsville Police Department told me that with the right tools, they would be able to, at a higher rate, be able to identify hate speech and uh, threats of violence on social media. But the big challenge would be identifying who is and is not an, a legitimate threat to public safety because there are so many of these types of posts on social media. Now, the people that I'm speaking with here in Huntsville tell me they see these types of posts all the time. When Naya Gordon and her friends scroll through social media sites on their phones, they see hatred of all kinds. And in some cases, worry social media can help foster these ideas that could lead to violence. I feel like that spreads it to where certain cases like that can happen. Police say the El Paso shooter is linked to a website called 8chan, which has been called, quote, a cesspool of hate, end quote, by tech company Cloudflare, who cut business ties with the website early this morning. Gordon tells me she supports President Trump's plan and would like social media to be monitored more often by law enforcement. People constantly checking it, making sure things like that aren't being posted and said. Scott Griffin also supports a crackdown on posts about violence and hatred on social media sites, but says it's a fine line to walk because of the First Amendment. While free speech is important, you don't want to give somebody a platform to spew hatred in an environment where they're going to be championed for that. Griffin says cutting these types of posts from social media could help prevent mass shootings. I think shining a light on that hatred so that people are aware of it and get rid of it is a good idea. The website, the El Paso shooter, is accused of posting his manifesto to minutes before he opened fire, was actually taken off of the Internet today when a London-based company cut the website's access to the Internet. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.